Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living, where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I will be sharing my family's pumpkin bread recipe. You can either use canned or fresh pumpkin to make this. Depending on what you choose, it will change the amounts of the spices that you add to the batter. This bread freezes and defrosts easily, is great for parties, and is super moist and delicious. So let's get into this. So I've used canned pumpkin in the past, but on this day I used fresh pumpkin. Well, kind of fresh. My mom had recently banked her Halloween pumpkin and portioned it up into recipe sized portions, which is about four cups worth. I froze this bag when she gave it to me and defrosted it in the fridge over the course of about two days prior to baking. I made sure to place the bag in a larger Ziploc bag in case it leaked as it defrosted. And I'm glad I did because there was a lot of pumpkin juice, I guess, that leaked out. When using fresh pumpkin, we are going to use this juice in place of the water that you would normally use if you were going to use canned pumpkin. And typically, as you will see later, the amount of pumpkin juice that emerges is the exact amount of water you would normally use for the recipe, which I find pretty cool. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays, and on and on we'll go. So it is worth noting that this is a pretty wet mixture. I've used a stand mixer in the past to make this, but in my opinion, I think either mixing by hand or using a hand mixer creates much less mess. This bread also makes delicious muffins. I did make this in muffin form a couple years ago on my channel in a bake and clean with me video. So if you want to see how those turned out, go ahead and check out the video that I've linked above. Now personally, I don't like nuts in breads or cakes, so today I'm just adding raisins to my batter, but if you enjoy that crunch in your bready treats, go ahead and add in whatever nuts you like best with the pumpkin flavor. The recipe suggests baking these loaves for about an hour or until a toothpick comes out clean. On this evening, I think it took about an hour and 10 to 15 minutes for a toothpick to come out clean from the center of the loaves. I let the loaves cool overnight because it was getting late, and I cut the slices in the morning.
Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this bread freezes and defrosts really well. So I'm packing up containers to freeze for later to keep it fresh and storing the rest in our fridge. Let me know if you plan on trying this recipe down below in the comments, and don't forget to hit that like button. If you are new here, I'd like to invite you to subscribe and check out all of my motherhood content, and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.